Hello everyone and welcome to your 16th Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial Animating Properties In this tutorial, we will learn on how to animate the basic properties of the images over here in order to make our montage animation better and smoother. So let's start. First of all, we had applied a few transitions in our montage animation. As you can see, we made the rollout as the default transition. But I would like to revert it back to the crossfade, the default it was before we changed it up. So here we have the animation as it was so now let's first see how to apply transitions to our montage animation you can just select any transition that you like for example page peel or page turn click on it drag and drop it between the two clips as you can see between this and this clip we have the animation of transition just drop it in between and then the transition will be applied at that place since we applied it to only the first transition this is there only for the first Let's zoom in on that. As you can see, page P. Let's get it back to the cross dissolve. Now let's animate the properties. Now to animate the properties, we have to go over to this effect controls panel. Now, just left click on the image once and then its properties will open up over here. Now, we don't want this animation to start right off. We want that this image also fades in and then the animation starts. So what we can do is we can dip to black on the left side of the image. So now the image comes up from black and then goes away in cross fade. Pick is here. We want to animate it a little. So let's go to the motion over here. Let's open it. We see many properties over here. For now, in this video, we will just talk about one property. That is the scale. Now, if you left click on the stopwatch over here, it will set a keyframe. Now, the animation is done from one keyframe to another. Left click the stopwatch to enable keyframe. Move the current time indicator to the last and then change the scale to maybe 100 and 15. Now let's check out our animation. As you can see, image gets animated. Now let's apply the same animation to the second clip. Go to the start, motion, scale, go to the end, make it 115. Now let's play and see how it ended up. As you can see, Moving animation is much better than the still animation. 
Now our montage animation now has a bit more life in it. So guys, that's it for this tutorial. And we will discuss more about these properties in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching.